Imagine one day getting home from work and you find your entire family slaughtered, laying in their beds, lifeless. And years later, everybody thinks it's just so fascinating that someone creates a movie about it and it becomes a hit series. Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Times Crime. This is the case of Ronald DeFeo Jr. So six victims, a mom, dad, and four siblings were found face down in their beds with no sign of a struggle. Investigation showed no evidence of weapons or sedative medicine. Around 6.30 p.m. on November 13, 1974, Ronald, who was then 23, ran into a bar in New York and he shouted real loud, you got to help me. I think my mother and father are shot. Everyone runs to 112 Ocean Avenue and finds uh, that Ronald's parents were dead inside of their house along with his siblings. The victims were Ronald Jr.'s parents, who were Ronald Sr., age 43, Louise, age 43, and his four siblings, Don, 18, Allison, 13, Mark, 12, and John, 9. All of the victims have been shot with a, a 35 caliber rifle around 3 o'clock in the morning. The children had all been killed by one single shot, while the parents had each received two shots. Physical evidence suggests that Louise, the mother, and her daughter Allison were awake at the time of their deaths. According to police, the victims were all found lying face down in the bed. The family had occupied 112 Ocean Avenue since purchasing it in 1965. Ronald DeFeo Jr., also known as Butch, was the oldest child of the family. He was taken to the local police station for his own protection after suggesting to police officers at the scene of the crime that the killings had been carried out by a mob hitman. But the following day, he just confessed to carrying out all of the killings himself. Ronald told detectives, once I started, I just couldn't stop. It went so fast. He admitted that he had taken a bath and redressed in detail where he had got rid of evidence such as all of the bloody, bloody clothes, uh, the rifle and cartridges before going to work on his normal routine. The murder weapon was eventually found in a Mittyville Creek. Ronald's trial began on October 14, 1975. He and his defense lawyer, William Weber, claimed a plea of insanity, of course, with Ronald claiming that he killed his family in self-defense because he heard their voice, their voices plotting against him. The psychiatrist, Dr. Harold Zolan, said although DeFeo was a user of heroin and LCD, he had antisocial personality disorder and was aware of his actions at the time of the crime. The judge, Thomas Stark, said that Ronald's crimes were the most horrifying murders committed in the county since its founding. The jury rejected the insanity plea and on November 21st, 1975, Ronald was found guilty on all six counts of second degree murder. On December 4th, 1974, Judge Stark sentenced Ronald to six sentences of 20 years to life. Ronald was held at the Sullivan Correctional Facility in town of Fallsburg, New York, and until his death, all of his appeals and requests to the parole board had been denied. Then Ronald later changed his story that his 18-year-old sister Don had murdered the other family members and he only killed her in hopes to get a retrial, but he was denied of that also. And a year after the murders, George and Kathy Lutz purchased the family's old home, but left and only one month later, claiming that it was haunted. And their story inspired author Jay Anson, who wrote a book called The Amityville Horror, which then turned into a hit movies series. And since then, there has been a 3D movie take on the story and a 2005 remake of the original movie. Ronald 69 died on March 12, 2021 at Albany Medical Center and the cause of his death has been released 
the cause of his death has never been released to the public. To see more celebrity cases, click right here. To subscribe so that you never miss another video, then click right here. I love you and I will see you in the next episode of Jazzy Times Crime.